beautiful people. Okay, okay. So, today I think is December 1st, uh, 2021. I got like Carmex holding my face. But, um, I'm almost done with school. I have, excuse me, I have a presentation next week and then the week after that I have my final. So, I have two more weeks of school and then I get a little, you know, winter break. Little, heavy in the little. Um, and I get to hang out with my boyfriend. I'm just so excited. That's my bestie. That's my best friend. Go best friend. Um, so I'm so excited. Unfortunately, you know, I told you guys that um, I've been doing really well in school. gotten all A's. And I'm still going to get an A in this class. However, um, for the first time in this whole 365 day year, okay, um, I've been getting B's on my tests, and it's literally how I described it as, you know, those light switches that you can, like, dim? That's what my brain feels like. At the beginning of the semester, it was way up here, ready to learn, like, super excited to learn, and then as the semester's closing out, it's going lower and lower and lower. Technically, the last test I took, I got an A, but the two before that, I got a B, and then the three before that, I got an A. But I got my first two B's um, of the whole year this semester. And I'm just like, this is a sign that I don't need to be in school. No more. It's not meant for me. That's what's going on. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you know what? One thing I do want to do is I used to be really into like the keyboard you know I took a class when I was like in elementary school but I didn't really like it then and then I borrowed a family member's keyboard when I was in like high school and I like learned a couple tunes and I thought it was super cool and I really liked it so I think I want to get a keyboard now and like do that I have a trumpet but I don't really want to learn the trumpet I was never good at it either and I still can't read sheet music so I don't know what they were teaching me but it was definitely not how to do the trumpet like I had so many opportunities in my life to do stuff and I just never did it let's go over some things okay I was taking piano lessons at school I did tap dancing I did hip-hop I did um, like a gymnastics class. I did uh, modeling, fa uh, the runway modeling stuff. I did an acting class. <laughs> uh, multiple acting classes actually. I did modern dance. I did ballet. And anything else? Oh, and I did the trumpet. I played the trumpet. Um, so I've had a lot of opportunities to do something with my life. And uh, I just feel like I get bored of things really easily. Like I even started doing my nails, like the acrylic nails. And then I also learned how to um, crochet. I got bored of that. Um, oh, I was also in a fashion. I was in multiple fashion clubs. But one of the fashion clubs I was in, we did um, like sewing and stuff like that so I made like pillows and purses and stuff never followed through on that I even had a sewing machine I asked for a sewing machine for like Christmas one year and I just got bored of that and I'm just like I can never like stay interested in one thing long enough to like do it like I'll get like this burst of energy and motivation to do something and then it dies out like with the nails Oh my god, it took like eight hours. It took my whole freaking weekend to do those freaking nails. And I was like, no. And then they ruined my nails for a long time. They were like brittle and like if I pushed it like this, it would bend all the way back. It was just so, so sensitive and so fragile. And uh, for the crochet, same thing. It just took too long and I just felt like I was wasting time. I don't know. It just has to be something in my mind that feels like I'm using my time wisely. Oh, not to mention, I played sports. I played soccer. I played um, football, baseball and stuff, like, for fun. Never on a team. I was meant to play on a softball team, but I didn't want to try out. <laughs> I was too embarrassed. Oh, also did bowling. I had, like, a custom bowling ball. Like, I'm a very interesting person. Well, I was. Um, but, yeah, now I'm just, like, I don't know what I'm into. No, I don't know. Um... I got into baking for a while. I made some bomb freaking cupcakes for uh, one of my friend's birthday in high school. 
and I was making like the cake pops when they first came out I had the machine and I was making those for people's birthdays and stuff like I was baking I was straight up baking uh, this was like in high school um I'm really into plays I love there's one play that happened around this time um my first year in college and I went there I think at least two times one time I had to go to a play for my class it was like one of my assignments but I ended up going again because I loved it so much and I brought my friends I was like this is my favorite play ever oh my god and I like musicals um I was in a musical <laughs> in elementary school my elementary school had everything now that I think about it oh my gosh um I was in a musical I was a piece of cheese I don't remember what cheese I was it was like gouda oh, man I wish I could remember oh I also I did tap what was the other thing I don't remember I've done a lot in my life but yeah like I said nothing ever sticks so I'm thinking of trying out the keyboard and they're not expensive they're like a hundred to two hundred dollars I mean it's not as expensive as I thought the best one I think was like 700 and I was like you gotta be kidding me um so I'm gonna try my hand at that I also always wanted to play the guitar I did try to learn for a while because one of my family members had a guitar I didn't it work out tried the drums didn't it work out yeah I just didn't like it I just I feel like also I'm a perfectionist so if I'm not good at something right when I try it I'm just over it and it's so funny because when I first started YouTube I was so into editing even though I didn't have any of the required software I hate this <laughs> the way it looks look right because I ugh. um but when I had you know just a regular computer that didn't have any like paid editing programs I was like so obsessed with like editing styles and then when I finally got my MacBook because I had wanted it for so long so I can do edits with iMovie I was like oh no edits take way too long like I'm not editing anything like even now I barely edit my videos and I hate doing that and then I was doing thumbnails for a while and then I started mass recording and mass uploading vlogs and it, it was just not sustainable but Oh, I also tried to get into um, calligraphy. <laughs> I tried to get into calligraphy. That didn't work. Um, what else did I do? I tried to get into art, like drawing. I can't draw to save my life. I really want to get into like painting, but that's the same thing as like drawing. So I don't know. But yeah. I've done a lot. I have really tried pretty much all there is to try as far as hobbies. I, I don't like gardening. I, I'm i like forced to do it right now. And the most I do is water plants. But I'm just not into plants. I just, that's not my thing. Um, I messed up the lighting. So let me fix it. Okay. It looks worse. Okay, let me turn this. Ooh. No. But anyway. Um, what else is, uh, I was gonna do knitting, but I did not have the supplies for that, so that's why I did crochet. <sighs> oh, if you guys didn't know, a long time ago, I used to have this Twitter account where I would make, like, people's Twitter icons, so people <laughs> would hire me for free, um, to like edit pictures for them so I was doing that when I was younger <laughs> it's so funny to think about now like I really did a lot of stuff but I never kept up with anything like what could I be if I stuck with piano lessons or like actually learn how to play the trumpet or actually went through with dancing I wish somebody forced me to do it like low-key just to see where I would be today because I think that because I was a girl around all guys all the time, like the guys were like, you need to go do this, you need to do the like sports and stuff. But for me, it was like, they didn't really make me do anything. So I just never felt the need to stick with anything, which explains why I've changed my major four times about to be five. <laughs> Y'all help me get my life together, please please but you know what even though i've been feeling like really down lately i've been having like a lot of motivational like thoughts in my head like yeah you're gonna make this lighting is really getting on my nerves i don't like it um 
but yeah I've been feeling really good I feel like something positive is gonna happen soon and I'm really excited to see what that will be and just see what the future holds I, I just really right now I just want to go to concerts go to amusement parks and travel that's it concerts number one excuse me so yeah that's all that's happening right now and I hope you guys are doing really well I don't have any paranormal stuff to report on so that's great excuse me that was a weird noise uh I was gonna say something happened but yeah no I don't think anything's happened paranormal wise so that's really good and um you know it's so funny too I I made a video during the pandemic about how like I was talking about manifestation and crystals and just thinking positively and that works it does I was in a good place I was growing and learning about myself and like removing like my bad tendencies and the bad things about my personality and then I hit a wall and I think it was literally just because my depression came back like I was also like reading and stuff and I don't read I, I loathe reading like school ruined it for me it's no longer enjoyable like that's what happened with a lot of my majors it's like I'll like that major separately so say I like writing if I became a writing major I would hate writing like they just ruin it they take all the fun and enjoyable qualities out of it like it turns a hobby into a job and I don't like that so that's also why I changed my majors a lot but yeah I hit a wall and now I'm kind of like trying to think positive thoughts but also like trying to face myself in reality because I really daydream a lot which they call maladaptive dreaming which I understand why because I'm barely ever present because <laughs> I'm always daydreaming like all day long I have to like snap myself out of it when I'm like studying and stuff because I get so distracted in my daydreams it'll be random stuff like oh getting a new car doing an interview like if I was a celebrity like, it's just random stuff um <laughs> but yeah that's what's happening i will end this video here it's 12 minutes long so i hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about me because i was thinking about that this morning i was like dang i've done a lot so i thought that was interesting um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys later bye, -bye.